we will see a horrible loss of human life. Probably 300 to 400,000 in the first week, civilian and military, probably over 2 million by the time three weeks is up. If I'm a North Korean commander, I will unleash the firepower of my artillery and inflict as much death and destruction on the South as I can. And in the first hours, there will literally be hundreds of thousands of artillery rounds and rockets fired to the South, and many of them into Seoul. With their reserve forces of some six million, I think they're the fourth largest army in the world. The scenarios that could lead to war is when Kim Jong-un believes he is threatened. And this can be an external threat by a preemptive strike from the United States, by a miscalculation of alliance military moves where he thinks the regime is subject to extreme threat. Our task will be to use air power to hold those guys off as much as we can until we can get heavier stuff in there. The first thing you gotta do is to get all your stuff combat loaded on ships. Tanks, trucks, armor, artillery, infantry, all the stuff that goes with that. And that will take anywhere from three or four days for the US Marine Corps guys coming in out of Japan to almost three weeks for the heavy tanks to come in all the way from Texas. North Koreans have about two to three weeks of stocks, ammunition, food, fuel, etc., to fight a war. That's all they got. So their war plan has to include accomplishing all of the goals that they have within that short time frame, because after that, they're living off the land. As the war starts to go bad for them, most units will start to collapse. Once their army starts to collapse, it's going to be a very, very rapid de-escalation of uh, conflict. When they know that, then what reason do they have not to use the nukes and take out several hundred thousand Americans with them?